and there has been a broad consensus in the scientific and ethical community that we shouldn't be doing this. We shouldn't be making those kinds of permanent genetic changes to the human genome. So it was unexpected, it was premature, and a lot of people are concerned about the safety of the infants who have been born as a consequence of this experiment. The changes that he introduced were not to treat a genetic disease, they're basically to induce future immunity to potential infectious disease uh, susceptibility. And so he basically was making changes to prevent disease in the future as opposed to treating disease uh, in these individuals. And so this almost becomes a kind of an early stage form of genetic enhancement rather than genetic treatment. There are real concerns about what it might mean to deliberately and systematically uh, modify our genes to basically enhance particular characteristics or to push our characteristics in a particular direction. And those are of equal ethical concern and I think is what animates a lot of this concern about designer babies doing this in a permanent way uh, that might push us uh, to biologically be different as a species from the way that we have been for many, many generations is very ethically concerning and is part of the reason why this has been such an ethical bright line for such a long time. The problem is the gene editing technology sometimes can um, misdirect itself to different places in the genome, might make similar genetic changes to regions that were not the regions that were the intended targets. These so-called off-target effects can, can, can have unintended genetic consequences, can turn off a gene which is very important for biological functioning, um, could make a genetic change in a gene that might subsequently predispose you to particular diseases. When this is happening in actual living human beings, it's like basically creating new genetic diseases in people who otherwise would have been genetically healthy. So that's the, that's the concern, and the, and the science suggests that that is still a concern with this technology because we haven't worked out all of the kinks with the technology yet. And it's not at all clear that the parents were suitably well informed about the risks that they were, were taking with their children um, as they were agreeing to have those embryos implanted. Um, and as far as we can tell, there was no external ethical oversight of this investigation whatsoever. So there's some kind of just nitty gritty basic research ethics concerns around the way that this research was conducted. There's been a real uproar all over the world um, and although I don't think it was the investigator's intention, um, there's, a, there's a possibility of there being a very serious uh, public backlash against this technology, which is extremely powerful um, and is currently being pursued in a lot of laboratories to create therapies to treat people who have serious genetic conditions.